Hello, today I wanted to record another quick uh, project video. Sorry about the reflection. Um, basically what I've done is I've converted a webcam into a radiation detector. Um, there are definitely ways I can improve on this in the future and make it more sensitive, but what you're actually seeing here with all of these little white spots um, throughout the screen are particles colliding with the CCD on the camera or the CMOS sensor, whichever it happens to have. And those pixels being picked out by OpenCV uh, and like basically I'm just creating a running mask of where all the pixels land. In the background here you can see I'm running uh, a command that's given me a little bit of output. As you can see here I'm getting a lot of like really small numbers of pixels but the screen's not really growing. That means I need to change the threshold a bit but um, yeah, basically it allows you to specify a number of parameters including this one that the camera doesn't apparently support and it will continuously run and give you measurements <coughs> from yeah, from radioactive particles colliding with the, with the uh, CCD <coughs> with the CCD. Sorry, I'm sick. Um and as you can see here, I actually have my one micro curie of cesium-137 sealed sample sitting on top of the webcam. Um, and what I've actually done is taped over, I uh, basically have a piece of electrical tape um, sandwiched inside, or sorry, a piece of aluminum foil sandwiched inside electrical tape, blocking all visible light from reaching the CCD, which is how uh, I'm ensuring that only ionizing radiation is reaching the CCD. Um, it's going to shield, because the lens is still over the CCD, it will shield beta particles, or some of the lower energy betas, and alphas for sure. Alphas are not going to make it anywhere near. But, anyway, so it's kind of a fun little project that I was able to do in a few minutes, and I've written, I've done a bit of work on the software, but so I'm going to go ahead and stop recording. And then... You can actually kind of see some statistics here at the bottom when you're done measuring. And control C to quit. Anyway, so that was a fun little radiation measurement project I'm doing. Um, I'd like to eventually convert this into a dosimeter, um, but I'd probably need a lot more extensive data and it probably wouldn't be um, very sensitive up until you had like higher levels of radiation. So there's that as well. But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching and cheers.